Back to the channel, Dean TV, DMT, Dean Family. Today we're doing a music video reaction to Nick Natoli and the songs called Back Then. And if you're new to the channel, like, comment below what reaction you want me to do next. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be part of the family, be part of the game. We're close to 2K, so let's get that as a family. And let's reach the real mount, let's reach the big milestone of 100K and 1 million, you feel me? And hope you guys like this and enjoy this. And check out the merch in the description box below. And no further ado, let's get into this reaction. So did you really know me back then? Did you really know me? Yeah. Because now you're claiming that we best friends when we ain't even homies. Yeah. Fast. Like, you slain you know me back then, but I don't even know you. Like, you ain't even fuck with me. Like, you don't even know me like that. Like, when you seen me... You didn't even say nothing to me, but now that I'm being something, it's about being something and becoming myself and making something out of myself. Now you want to be buddy buddy with me. Now you want to be a friend. Now I'm your best friend. That's some fake ass shit. And that's how people be for real. Like, be on that fake shit. So did you really know me back then? Did you really know me? Yeah. Nope. Cause now you claiming that we best friends when we ain't even homies. Yeah, no. do it like this, gotta do it like that for him. Like that for him? I look so good, I look so good. Like, do I even got a rap for him? Go ahead and go to bat for him. I ball so hard, I ball so hard with a ball, man. Man, I gotta throw the cap on him. Niggas wish they knew me Tell back then. Oh, what did I say? Wait a minute. Back y'all. Go ahead. I ball so hard, I ball so hard with a ball man. Man, I gotta throw the cap on him. Uh -huh. Niggas wish they knew me back then. It's Fuck, a back y'all boogie bad. when I come around, when I come around, man. Got me feeling like a Mac 10. My beats mm. on some angry bitches, man. And that's why them hoes just be slapping. Oh, I was wishing. That's, in my beat beat. that's why they be slapping. Hey, he's spazzing. For a better life. I didn't know that it would happen. The flow has been colder than Aspen. Mm. Niggas ain't eating, they fasting. I was a poor oh. boy from a city, king of thieves. Now a nigga like a lad. Oh, yeah. Niggas on gun control. That's a big conspiracy about a lot of Walt Disney and a lot of stuff he done over the years. And it's like, it's a bunch. Like, paraphernalia. Parapha pedophilia. What I was going to call it, say it. But yeah. From rituals, from Lucifer Luciferianism, and different stuff, different things of that of the sort that Walt Disney um do, and like it shows in like his movies, some of his movies, some of his TV shows, and it, like it goes over a majority of our head. But yeah, you gotta watch because these motherfuckers toxic, and this why. They put in kids show because they know kids ain't they ain't gonna make a big deal over it. But it's like parents ain't really gonna make a big deal over it either because they're gonna oh it's just a cartoon it ain't nothing. But it, it was something it was something a lot. It's like they trying to teach y'all teach the kids to go down a dark path. You don't want that at all at all. Like you don't want these you want these people turning. Turning you into a fallen angel, turning you into a demon, turning you into a devil worshippers. Like, nah, like, you gotta get better than that. Oh, got the gun control, no, they not with the cap in. I stay in the booth, I stay in the booth on these niggas above them like Madden. Jealous of your brother like. He said, I stay on the booth above these niggas like Madden? Huh, that's smack. He laying the smack down on that. My name Mike Jackson. Mike Jackson. Never really trip like I never try acid. Used to sing bars, now a nigga really rapping. 
I'm just saying, I never chill like I did ask it. Yeah, that Illuminati. And I'm lit. You don't wanna go and gas them. No, I'm lit, no, I'm lit. Yeah. Somebody gotta clean the ashes. Yeah, no, I'm lit, no, I'm lit. No, I don't really need the matches. I got my game face on when it ain't game day. Like, what the fuck is practice? And they like, what the fuck is that shit? Mm. Nigga, do it with a passion. And you niggas don't look too familiar. You know I gotta ask him. I just wanna know. So, did you really know me back then? Facts. Oh, man. That's true. Like, what the fuck? Where were you? They like, what the fuck is that shit? Nigga, do it with a passion. Facts. Cold you cold. niggas don't look cold. too familiar. You know mm. I gotta ask. I just want to know. He said, y'all niggas don't look familiar. Like, I don't even know who y'all niggas is. Like, how y'all talking like y'all know me, but y'all don't even know me. Like, that fake cap, big cap shit. Like, just because you see me somewhere don't mean you know me. Just because you see me or I went to school with me doesn't mean you know me. Like, do you know me? Hell no. Nah. Nobody knows you, but you are the person you open up to or your lover. But the only person that really knows you is you. Like, nobody can tell you about you. You feel me? Unless they study you. Unless they learn your mannerism and all that stuff of the sort. And figure it out. So did you really know me back then? Did you really know me? Yeah. Cause now you claiming that we best friends and we ain't even homies. Okay, yeah. Buddy. So did you really know me back then? Did you really know me? Yeah. Did you know me? Now you claiming that we best friends when we ain't even homies. I gotta know, man. So yeah, cause that genie in the freaking what you call that? In the lamp, it's supposed to represent a demonic creature. And this demonic creature grants you any wish. And it's just like how the Illuminati says, like, I will grant you any wish, but you will have to do this for me and you have to sacrifice this in order to get this it's like an equivalent of an exchange it's like somewhat like alchemy like you gotta sacrifice something to get something in the process did you really know me back then did you really know, know me hey you know me yeah cause now you claiming that we best friends and we ain't even homies yeah so did you really know me back then? Did you really know me? Yeah. Cause now you're claiming that we best friends when we ain't even homies. So did you really know me back then? Did you really know me? Yeah. Cause now you claiming that we best friends and we ain't even homies. Yeah. I can believe that. I can believe that because this could be the reason why he died for real, for real. Because he said, talked about the Illuminati and talked about people in the Illuminati. Because it seemed like when people do that, they get murked or talk about anything about enlightenment or talk about that secret society or talk about bettering the world or try to tell people to stop being toxic and actually come together and be something with each other, you know? And it's like, when somebody actually try to do that, they get killed off, murdered. And it's like, that's sad. And it's like, we go back to square one. Keep going back to square one. It's like, we need to build off on our leaders. Instead of going back, back to square one, we need to go back to square five. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, then, family? I hope you guys like this and enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social medias. And go show big bro Nick Nathole some love and tell him Dean sent you. And go check out the song and the music in the description box below and the merch also. And hope you guys like this and enjoy it. Because he's been dropping bars and knowledge for and gems for all of us.
2020. And I already told y'all. I told y'all it was going nit- to be Nick Natole summer. But people don't want to listen to me. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this. Like this. Go show them some love. Spam that subscribe button. Spam that like button. And spam that share button. And go show them some love. And show us some love. We're a big family over here. See you guys next time with your reaction. Bye.